M0 FXB wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year 7-3. FXB, we're going to look at scanning. So we're in memory channel now, single receiver. I'll just show you how to do that. So memory channel is VM here, VM. So V for VFO, and then hit again. We're in memory. If you want single or dual receive, hold down the A, B button. So that's A and B, and you can go A, B. We're on the A band, and then if you hold it again, it's highlighted in red, but we're on the A-band single receive, and we're in memory mode. So if we want to scan, you just push F menu, scan, and it will scan. You can change settings, which I'll show you in a second. You can't see it. When it's scanning, you can't see the frequency, but once it receives, you can. And then to end it, you just go F menu, hit scan. Or we could just go F menu scan, let's go back to scan, and you can hit stop here. I'm going to try it again, I bet you you can do the PTT as well, we'll just try that. We'll hit that and see if that stops. Yeah, it looks like it has. Right, I'll just show you in VFO and then we'll look at the settings. So we'll go VFO here, then we'll go F menu scan. And it's quite a long scan, it is scanning. You can actually set the backlight to come on as well, but you can see that the, when you receive something, the LED comes on. The left LED is the A band, the right LED is the B band. And then look, we can just stop it for now. Okay, let's look at the scan menu. So we're not scanning now, we're in mem VFO mode. We'll hold down the F menu until we get this display and we'll go to scan. We'll start right at the top and we'll just go through one at a time. So number one is about the dual watch. Dual watch means when you're on a channel, you can actually tell it to listen to another channel and it will flick between those two channels very quickly. So it means you can almost have like a quad band receive. So if we tap DW time and then you can see that it's given us the setting at the moment is three seconds. So the way dual watch works is that you set a priority channel and it keeps looking back at that priority channel. And then so how long it takes before it looks is what you can decide here. So you can see it's on three seconds at the moment, but you can change that. Let's go back and look at scan lamp. We'll tap that. So the scan lamp is basically, basically the LCD back, and I've got it so it's permanently on, but if you've got it, you know, to save the battery, you can tell it to, to either not use it or use it, so off or on. Let's go back, go to scan, restart, press F menu to select. You can tap the screen as well. So whilst you're scanning, if someone stops speaking, you know, if it becomes inactive, you can decide how long or how many seconds you want it to sort of listen to nothing, basically, before it restarts. So you, you can decide that. Let's go back. We'll go down to number four, scan resume, and we'll use the screen this time, scan resume. So when scanning stops, it you can decide how long to listen to that channel before the scanning resumes. You've also got the dual watch thing here, so it can either, once you set it to dual watch, you can tell it to hold the uh, priority channel whilst it's in dual watch, or you can just say, oh look, listen for a few seconds. Go back, scan width, Let's select that. So you can ask it to listen to just one band, all of the bands, it goes for memory as well, and or you can link the banks together because you can put memory channels into banks, which is basically groups. So for example, you can have digital memory channels, 
FM analog memory channels. Now, if you want to scan them all, you can turn the band link on, which is by default. And then it, when you select all, it will it will scan all of the banks as well. Let's go back, priority revert. So what that means, if that's on, whatever happens, if you receive anything on the priority channel, it will that will override everything. So okay, I hope that hope you find that interesting. One last thing I'll say is when I'm when I'm scanning, I tend to use the band scope. Now the band scope you have to be in VFO mode by pushing the VM here. Then you can go brief F menu press and hit go forward until it says scope. Now hit scope. So when I'm scanning, I tend to look here. So if I'm looking for some activity, look for a peak. Also you need to be in the right mode. And that's how I tend to do it. If I go back, I'll see if I can find my uh, my hotspot. We can hit the search button here, look. We're going to try and find my hotspot. And we'll just try here, go search. And then we'll go back. My hotspot is 438575. Yeah, there's no one active there. But if there was, you'd get a big spike come up. So there you go, hope this helps you with your scanning and settings for scanning on your Yesu FT5. Please uh, like and subscribe my channel if you find this helpful. I'll leave a couple of screenshots of the instruction manual at the end of this video, 7-3.